Well, hello, people. And um, I'm down here now. Turn right. Okay, I call Google Maps, you know, the, the voice, the woman's voice, I call her Susan. So I put a name on Google Maps. Very sexy, Susan is. So she's telling me to go right up here. Okay, Susan, thanks a million. Thanks for your help. Right, so I'm going right here, and I'm going up to a place called, well, the locals call it the Hellfire Club, uh, Mont Pelly or Hill or something. So there's a fantastic view over Dublin here. And I got this suggestion actually off my nephew. Um, he said it, there's a fantastic view up here of Dublin. So that's where I'm going, my friends, and you're all very welcome to join me. And um, yeah, so, and there's Johnny Foxes is up here too. Right, there's a, there's a lorry here right ahead of us, look. Um, see the lorry? It's a tar lorry and obviously this big hill and he's obviously, the truck is so full of tar. <clears throat> Look at the speed he's going at. In trying to get up the hill, he's doing about 11 kilometers per hour. Right people, I just stopped here at um, a cafe, it's called the Timber Trove Cafe, and um, yeah, Timber Trove and it, it, Cafe and Country Store, right? So we'll go in here for a cup of tea anyway and get something to eat, okay? Cheers. I don't know, Google, my husband knows everything. <clears throat> what do you think? Cool, isn't it? It's called Timber, Timber Grove Cafe. Um, and I forgot to bring my camera because it was just fantastic. Um, pictures to get here, you know. Anyway, look at the stove, isn't it cool? It's my kitchen and I'll fry if I want to. Whoever said money can't buy happiness didn't know where to shop. Good mums have stick, sticky floors, dirty ovens and happy kids. Isn't that a cool clock, look? Um, little pot plants. You see, look, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock. Great idea. Um, it's a bit cold here. Uh, what I don't like now is... Look, see, that, that's, that's a large cup of tea. Well, look, paper cup of tea. And this sandwich. I don't know if you think that's expensive. 10 euros 80 cent for that, right? Um, and there's no indoor place to sit in, in there, inside of the shop or the cafe. But uh, it'd be lovely here now on a warm day, I have to say, but it's cold here. Um, so I'm going to tuck into this. I think it's a chicken and something sandwich. I don't know what's on it. Pesto or something, whatever that is. Let me try this. Just a chicken sandwich, my friends. Cheers. 
Cheers, my friends. Right, my friends, that's the um, Timber Trove Cafe here, right? Now, so, my opinion on it is this, right? I like it. Would I come back again? I would. But I was expecting, a, you know, an indoor sit-down area with a proper uh, teapot, proper cup, or a mug or whatever, right? And um, that place where I was sitting in there, that was cold. The shop was cold because it's a cold day here. Now, the man did come in, pressed a button in where I was sitting there and turned on overhead heaters, right? But it was uncomfortable there for a while. So, my advice would be, don't come up on a cold day, my friends, because even the shop was cold. So, um, but I like it. And I think that was a bit pricey, 10 euros 80 for, um, you know, for that, that paper cup of tea and that chicken sandwich. I thought that was dear, okay? So let's go on now up to this um, Mount Pellier Hill to have a look, have a look over at Dublin. And um, the locals here call it the Hellfire Club. So let's do that, okay? Right, people, welcome to the Hellfire Club car park. And let's go out here and do this walk and go up on top of the hill here and have a look back towards Dublin. Everybody says there's a fantastic view of Dublin city here. Got my camera, my friends. Fantastic view back there. Look, green fields, uh, forests, houses, farmland, cows in the field. But what I'll do is, before before I finish this video, I'm going to come back down again with my camera and take some pictures. And also, um, when I get up here to the viewing point, where you can see all of Dublin. I'm going to, you know, bring bring my Canon camera and zoom in on places around Dublin to show you. Is okay? Oh, I have to say now, I'm loving this, my friends. I'm loving it. Bit cold, though. You know, it's, actually, it's unusually cold for this month of the year. You know, April showers. Um, so it's living up to it anyway. You know, April. We had a crazy day of rain yesterday. Crazy. And. Um, yeah, so, oh, I'm getting a fantastic view there now. The GoPro, you see, I, I, can't, I can't zoom in in the GoPro. But don't worry, I'll, I'll come back with, with the Canon camera. I'll zoom right into Dublin here. Because it's just fantastic, my friends, fantastic. Look at all the forest bushes. Aren't they lovely? And they're yellow. There's a dead tree. Here's actually one, two three four dead trees but they even look lovely like that you know see to me it's raining here now my friends and what did i do i left my umbrella in the car i'm a gobshite a total and utter gobshite my friends but anyway it's still not going to deter me from getting up to this hill and having a look at this viewpoint, you know? Not a chance, my friend, not a chance. What's the saying here? Whew. Here is Hellfire. As part of the Dublin Mountains makeover, we are starting to manage this mixed woodland through con uh, continuous cover forestry. This means we will maintain a permanent forest cover, but gradually, over time, the forest will be tinned regularly to develop into a more diverse, multi-structural and multi-age forest that will last into the future. Super cool. Now it's not cool, just a little kind of a pond here. 
and it's saying on the on the two signs here uh, there is um, a smooth newt N E W T lives in here, and of course the frog. Look, the common frog lives in there as well. Isn't that a lovely home for them, isn't it? It's bloody rain. Look at that view, my friends. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? See the rain on the hillside and the forest and the houses and the stone walls and the yellow forest bushes and the trees. Beautiful, my friends. Beautiful. I just can't believe that I didn't take my 10 euro little umbrella out of the back of my car. That's, that's what annoy me now, how stupid I, I can be sometimes, you know? But anyway, keep on walking my friends, keep on walking to this viewing point. Um, you know what's mad, right? Do you ever wake up in the morning, or you're going somewhere, you're driving your car or whatever you're doing, right? And you start singing a song and you'll be saying to yourself, where did that come from? You know, like, they're, they're coming, up, coming up here on the drive. I was in the car and I was singing a song from, did you ever hear of a, a girl band called the Pussycat Dolls? Did you ever hear of them, right? So I'm going along in the car and I'm humming the chorus to the song called Don't You, you know that song? Um, Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? Don't you wish your girlfriend was free like me? Well, don't ya? Uh, don't ya? Yeah, that's the Pussycat Dolls. So, I've no idea where that came from because I don't, I don't have an album of the Pussycat Dolls. Maybe subconsciously, I hear the song somewhere. But I definitely hadn't, hadn't got the radio on in the car. And that song just came into my head. And I was singing it all the way up. Well, the chorus, you know what I mean? And uh, do you ever find that happening to you? A song will just come into your head, out of the blue, for no apparent reason, and you start singing it. Well, anyway, so I'm going downhill here now again. There's no sign saying the bloody Montpellier um, viewpoint, you know, but anyway, just keep going here. I'm getting soaking here. Anyway. Well, all I can say is that definitely, yeah, this is a magnificent view of Dublin City here, right? But unfortunately, the weather is not allowing us to have good visibility, you know what I mean? But um, I'll tell you a story with this house here, right? Now, I was reading it on Google. A guy, this hill here, this Cairn Hill, right? was um there was a burial chamber right here right and this particular guy rich guy obviously built this house here okay right over where the burial chamber was dug up the burial chamber and built this house okay and um supposedly then you know the spirits were angry with him and in a big storm the whole roof blew off the house right but subsequently there was a group of aristocrats here in Dublin City, lived in Dublin City, and they formed this group called the Hellfire Club. Now, they, they, it, didn't go, it didn't last for very long, you know, but there's loads of myths and, and stories about what, what they got up to, but they're meant to be into you know, the usual stuff like sex uh, and debauchery and stuff, all that kind of thing, right? But they were also supposed to be uh, Satan uh, worshippers, you know, so... 
I think they spent time up here in this place here. So, it's kind of a, you know, kind of a spooky kind of place, you know what I mean? So, that's why the people call it the Hellfire Club. Let's go and have a look in here. OBJ, there's a, so there's obviously a big, big fireplace here. Yeah, and you see, I don't know whether it was in this room now or whatever, right, but they, um, they, the guy that built this house took one of the stones that was part of the burial uh, ground here and used it in his fireplace, you know what I mean? So because of that, because he, he dug up the burial ground, built this house here, took the stone for this fireplace, unusual things kind of happened, do you know what I mean? So, or so they say. But anyway, let's go up here. And uh, I think another story goes that them boys were up here, them guys, right? This Hellfire Club crowd of aristocrats. I don't know whether they were playing cards or what they were doing anyway. But there was this stranger sitting beside him. And supposedly they looked down at his feet. And he hadn't got feet, he had hooves. So the legend is that they were actually sitting beside the devil himself. You know, bullshit my friends, bullshit, but anyway. It is a scary looking place now, I have to say. I wouldn't come up here at night time. That's, that's another thing um, I don't understand. It's like, why, why did they have such big high ceilings in, in old stone houses or houses? You know, even the Georgian houses in Dublin had real high ceilings. I wonder why was that? There obviously must be no reason for it. Um, anyway, let's just walk around again here. Yeah, sorry people, it's a pity now it's not a clear day because that is a fabulous view of Dublin City. Fabulous, right? I'm definitely going to come back up here again, definitely, with no question about it. And uh, I, I'll, bring, I'll bring the Canon camera because I've got different lenses and I can zoom in on different uh, hot spots, you know, in Dublin City and show you places in Dublin City from up, this, from up this vantage point here. So where I am now is on the southwest of Dublin, right? on the foothills of Dublin, okay? The Dublin Mountains, you want to call them, or Dublin Hills. So I'm southwest um, Dublin. Yeah, that's where I am. And straight out there, I don't, see, you, can't, you can't see with the GoPro, but what I'm pointing out there now is Dublin Bay. So that's the Irish Sea you're looking at out there. You know what I mean? So, and it's just amazing, you know? There's actually sleet here, like a kind of snow, you know, falling here now in the month of April. Right, people, sorry about the weather, but I can tell you for sure that it's probably one of the best uh, places to view all of Dublin from up here. So look for um, the car park called um, the Hellfire Club car park. Just put that into Google Maps and Susan will bring us straight to it. I call her, I call device uh, on Google, Susan, you know. Anyway, so I'm walking back down. Oh, I'm just raging that I didn't bring my camera, my friends, because it, it's spectacular views. But I'm going to come back up. I'm going to come back up and get to, um, with my camera and get pictures, okay? Well, hello, people. This is Don from the future here. 
Remember I promised to come back and get pictures from the viewpoint up here on, what do they call it? Well, the, the, the Hellfire Club, Mont Montpellier Hill, right? So I'm back, it's a bit cloudy still, but look, I have my um, tripod set up here and I have the 55 to 250 milliliter, sorry, uh, millimeter um, Canon lens on it. I could have brought a bigger lens, but I'm gonna carry it up the hill here. So I'm gonna zoom in here uh, as I go up the hill here, there's um, a ferry leaving Dublin Port here and it's just heading out, out by Dublin Bay past uh, Holt Head. So I'll show you that, okay? Right people, that was kind of a waste of a journey because it's the visibility is still not great, you know what I mean? So when I zoom in on the zoom lens on the camera, it's not clear, you know? But anyway, I'll take pictures as best I can of Dublin. I got a picture of the Aviva Stadium. I got a picture down towards the harbour and Poolbeg Lighthouse. Actually that pier, Poolbeg Lighthouse Pier, that's over a mile, like a mile and a half a walk out to it. I done that walk before and I'll do a video of that uh, before the summer is out, okay? So stay tuned to the end of the video, my, my friends, because we'll put pictures from up here onto the video at the end, right? And uh, yeah, so back to the original video and the wet day, okay? So see us at the end of the video. Watch out for the photographs, right? Okay. Seriously slippy here my friends, seriously slippy. Which remind me of that song, slip sliding away, eh? a slip sliding away. Eh? Look at the fours bush, aren't they just lovely? They really are my friends, they really are. You know something people, right. Notice climate change thing, right, okay. Anyway, I'm not a climate change denier, right, but not the way they keep going on saying, oh, there's not enough trees in the world, there's not enough trees, and there's not enough, and the Green Party here in Ireland, oh, there's not enough trees, we need to plant more trees. Fine, right? I can tell you now, from going around Ireland, that is effing bullshit, my friends. It's bullshit. We have loads of trees here in Ireland. I mean, shit loads of trees, you know what I mean? Oh, we have to put plant more trees to take the carbon out of the atmosphere, you know? and give us back the clean air that we breathe, you know what I mean? Look, I'll tell you one thing for nothing, right? Even if all the governments in the world um, meet or, or uh, what do you call it, lowering the degree, you know, of the certain degree, of the meet their carbon emissions, what do you call it? Do you know what I mean? What, what, they, what they signed up for, right? Even if they do that, I mean, pe the, the, the human race is actually arrogant to think that they can control the world's weather, the world's climate, should I say, right? Okay, we can help it, but 
If you read the evolution of the Earth from 4.5 billion years ago and all those different time zones and periods you know, where, we, where we go from extreme heat into um, ice ages, okay? And in between those ice ages there was um, creatures, you know, living on the Earth that then the next big ice age would come and they'd all just disappear out of sight, right? Um, and so if you think that we think that we're in control of the Earth, it's preposterous. Because you know something? In about 10,000 years, whether we think we're, we're going to control climate change or not, there won't be a single human being on this Earth. Because the Earth will fall back into another ice age. You know what I mean? And you might say, how do you know that? Well, I'm telling you, start reading more than one book. Go to your library and start reading uh, like people like geologists, you know, that are, or... Do you know what I'm saying to you? Like, the, the, like, listen to the scientific evidence that's been given to you by all the experts in the field. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, all the fossils they found from way, way back, and you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. So in about ten thousand years' time, there will be no human on the earth. The, the last things they reckon that will be alive in the next IJ, ice age before they die out will be like, I think it's whales and sharks or something like this, or so, uh, some kind of a shark, right? Because they'll be able to, what would you call it, uh, live in extreme cold conditions. But we'll be gone in about 10,000 years, you know what I mean? Well, I'll be gone in probably a couple of years, you know what I mean? Like everybody else, but I'm not saying, I'm not into cleaner ways of um, energy, clean energy. I'm not saying that at all. And I'm not saying don't try to um, bring back the temperature thing, uh, the temperature, you know, uh, off the earth and fix the ozone layer. But the earth that we're living on, it's not, it's not just a big rock that's just going around the sun, you know what I mean? And tilt it and wobbling, you know what I mean, as it goes along, right? And going around in a circle. I think, I think it goes around the sun at speed of 67 thousand miles an hour or something like that maybe I'm wrong on that I don't know but anyway you get my point it's a living breeding um, thing you know what I mean and it's doing its own thing regardless of whether we're here or not so yeah the earth is not sorry we if you don't kill ourselves through nuclear war or whatever right we are not going to be here as a species in 10,000 years time okay that's a little rant in the rain here coming down from um, uh, Montpellier Hill, my friends. All oh, right, people, look at the state of me. It's soaking. Look, look at me jacket, it's soaking wet. Like that rain only started when it was about, say, I don't know, half ways up the hill there, right? And I forget my goddamn umbrella. I'm a dickhead, I'm a dickhead. Well, listen, you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to go for a proper cup of tea, you know what I mean? A proper cup of tea with a real teapot and a real cup, right? So I'm going to go up as far as Johnny Fox's pub, which is not far from here. Supposedly it's the supposedly it's the highest pub in Ireland. I don't know if that's true or not, but anyway. So let's go up as far as Johnny Fox's pub for a cup of tea, my friends. And maybe a bun. Maybe we get a bun. Ah, sure we might as well, huh? She might as well. It's a shit day out there. April bloody showers. You're a dickhead, April. Dickhead. Oh, the lovely emerald oil. The lovely emerald oil. Lovely and green. Yeah, it is lovely and green, my friends. It is lovely and green. With all this flipping rain. Right, people. It's time to contact Susan to get directions to um, Johnny Foxes, okay? I love Susan. Johnny Fox's pub. Ah, oh, she's not talking to me at a minute. Maybe she'll talk now. Okay. It's 13 minutes away. She's not talking today. She must have felt. She must have fallen at me. Ah, uh, just love the sound of, sound of Susan's voice there now. That's what I call the Google voice, Susan. Very sexy. Take the next left onto Crewer Road. Continue on Crewer Road for two kilometres. 
just my luck. The road there I was going, going to take, go down to Johnny Fox's door tarmac in it. So now I have to go a long way around to get to Johnny Fox's. Bloody rain here, wrecking me head, wrecking me head. And uh, today is, let me see now, Joe Biden came into Northern Ireland um, last night, so I think he's in Belfast today. So it's the visit of uh, President Joe Biden, or is, or is the, who do you call him, the Trump guy calls him, um, Sleepy Joe, isn't it? Can't stand Donald Trump, my friends, can't stand him. Right, people, I'm not going, I'm not going all the way through here. I'm not going all the way through here in this weather. Uh, so I'm going to turn around and I'm going to go back past that cafe that I had the cup, of, the paper cup of tea in and I seen a sign for, for another pub down the hill further. So let's go there and check that place out, okay? Take the next right onto Crewe Road. I can't, Susan, because there's dickheads tarmacking the road in the goddamn rain. So I can't take that road that you want me to take. Just my luck today, my friends, just my luck. I know it's raining, my friends, but I'm just loving this drive, loving it. I see the diversion back there. Um, so I, I'm, I'm taking another chance and going back to Johnny Fox's pub, okay? So I hope there's not another uh, that we can't get to it, do you know what I mean? But I'm really enjoying this, this drive. Meters, turn left onto R116. Okay, Susan, thank you. Right, people, made it here to Johnny Fox's pub. Um, this is a real uh, tourist pub here, right? And I think they're claiming to be the highest pub in Ireland, okay? So uh, let's go down into this pub and get get some tea. And I'll just show you all the stuff they have outside, like, uh, you know, like old stuff, old cars and, you know, kind of Irish kind of old signs and various things like that, do you know what I mean? So, slashing rain here, slashing rain. Yesterday I was singing in the rain, today I wish we'd just go off to Spain or somewhere. So I'm going to get out my umbrella and then we'll walk down to the pub, okay? Cheers. Ooh. This is cool, look, an old, an old van, look, Johnny Fox's pub. The highest, the highest pub in Ireland. It's established in 1798. And look at the old. That would, that would have been pulled by you know, the horse and cart, and the turf. Look. Oh, it's a wild day, my friends. It's a wild day. It's not deadly. I love it. The old hat. Let's have a look in there. 
I'd love a go at driving that, my friends. Ooh. Uh, that rain, <laughs> that rain, my friend, just pissing me off now, I have to say. Pissing me off. Ah, sure, Ireland is lovely and green, isn't it? It's lovely. Yeah, that's why, because of the rain. Uh, so look, look at the cool hay barn here, look. The green hay barn. There's no hay in it now, but look. Not deadly, look. See it there. So here, welcome to Johnny Fox's pub, my friend. It's really cool, look at this. Look at all the lovely flowers. Cade Miele Falcha, you've made it to the highest pub in Ireland. Okay, what have we got here? Hatchyard Beer Garden Reservation. Lucky Mountain wishing well, but you have to believe. See the, see the money in it? Easter Rise in 1916. Sorry, where's the door to get in, please? Uh, I think it's over there. I think it's around the other side there. Well, you that, I think the other side, isn't it? The other side. I think. <clears throat> so that car was called the uh, Morris. Pub in France, or Johnny Fox's pub. What do you think? Cool, isn't it? Right, time to get some tea and something to eat. So, if you're into horse racing, the picture here of this man, he was a jockey, a multiple classic winning jockey for 46 years, born in 1833 and died in 1922. A thousand guineas twice, the 2000 guineas six times, the Ascot Gold Cup. What's that? Nine times. There we oats in the ledger, etc. That man there. Right, people. Right, that's what you call. Look at that. That's what you call a pot of tea, isn't it? Lovely. A pot of tea and some what I call diddly idle do music, Irish music. Sure, you can't beat it. Oh, yes. Cheers, my friends. That was just what the doctor all of my friends. Homemade vegetable soup and brown bread with Irish butter on it. And the only thing to do with this, my friends, is to dip it into the into the soup. Right. See what I mean? Like so. And then taste it. Oh my god. That's that's heavenly, my friends. Heaven. Mmm. Have a look at this here, look. It's a uh, horseshoe and spores from the 13th to the 15th century, look. See that there, look.
Right, people, that's it. Johnny the Fox is on a wild April day. Or, I keep calling it you know, Johnny Foxes, yeah. Woo! Yeah, this pub here now is a real tourist attraction, I have to say. Real tourist attraction. Um, it's in here. Wild, wild, wild. In the month of April, my friends, in the month of April. Definitely living up to its reputation of April showers, that's for sure. Woo! All right, people, that's it from um, the Hellfire, Hellfire Club uh, viewing point. Um, southwest of Dublin with a fantastic view over Dublin City and from here at Johnny Fox's pub supposedly the highest pub in Ireland and well worth a visit if you're a tourist to Ireland you'll get the real authentic Irish pub there for definite okay um, so that's it from such a diabolical afternoon here wet afternoon here in the month of April in Ireland and um, as usual I have no idea where my next video is going to come from but it's going to come from summer, so stay tuned. Stay tuned and actually watch, watch, uh, have a look at some of the pictures at the end of the video, okay? Take care, till next time, bye.